hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to learn how to draft a basic bodice pattern front and back and it's beginner friendly as well so stay tuned and let's go you're going to need your body measurements and on the screen I have put a list of measurements needed a French curve and a ruler, a measuring tape, pencil, pattern paper or craft paper and finally a tracing wheel. So first thing you do is to draw straight lines like I'm doing just to make sure my pattern edges are straight and I start with a clean straight line. So the next step is I go ahead and I draw my shoulder line. So the line at the very top of the paper is the shoulder line. So go ahead and draw your shoulder line. So I'm going to go ahead and label the line as my shoulder. And then go ahead and impute your shoulder measurement, which you divide by 2 inches on that line. To create your neckline, use the standard measurement 3 by 3 inches for the width and for the depth. Now I'm just grabbing my French curve and drawing a round neckline. Next, I'm going to impute my vertical measurement. So here I'm going to impute my shoulder to bust measurement onto my pattern paper and then draw a line and repeat the same step for my shoulder to waist measurement and my shoulder to hip measurement, drawing a straight line out and labeling it. Next step is to draw your shoulder slant. So where you marked your shoulder measurement, you're going to go down by one inch and connect that point to the neck with a straight line. Draw a straight line from your shoulder to bust line. To make sure the line is straight, impute shoulder measurement on your bust line and connect two points together. On your bus line, impute your bus measurement divided by 4. Take the midpoint of this line here, so you divide it by 2. So mark that point down and from that very point, you're going to go in by 0 0.5 inches or 0 0.75 inches. If you have smaller breasts, go in by only 0 0.5 inches and if you're on the larger breast side, go in by 0 0.75 inches. Now connect all three points together, so from that top of your shoulder to that midpoint to your bust line using a French curved ruler like so. That's your armhole curve done. Now impute your waist measurement on your waistline. Remember to add one extra inch for that. We're going to draw in in a second. 
Impute your hip measurement divided by 4 on your hip line. Now, connect the sides together. Bust to waist with the ruler and waist to hip with a French curve. Now we're going to draw in our dots. Start by taking your bust point measurement, which is your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two, and impute it on your bust line, your waistline, and your hip line. On the waistline, mark 0.5 inches on both sides of the bust point measurement. Back to the bust line, from the bust point measurement, come down by one and a half inches or two inches. On your hip line, from the bust point measurement, go up by two inches. And grab your straight ruler and connect the dart legs like so. Now we're going to draw a shoulder dot. Take the midpoint of your shoulder slant line and mark it down. Then connect it to your bus point measurement on the bus line with the ruler. Then get your strap dot value. The formula is your bus measurement divided by 20. Impute it on your shoulder line and then go ahead to extend the line like so. Connect the strap dart point to your bust point but before you do that go up from your bust point by one inch and then connect the line. Because we have to accommodate for the shoulder dart we just drew in we have to draw a new armhole curve. So impute your strap dart measurement which is your bust divided by 20, back on the shoulder line, which we extended. Then from the midpoint of your ham old curve, draw a straight line to the center edge of your pattern paper. That is your arm to arm line. Then find the value between the V, so the distance between these two points here. From the arm all curve here, impute that measurement. Now connect these points to make a new arm all curve. So this place is a bit complicated. So just watch closely and I'll try and explain as best as I can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my shoulder dot and I'm going to make sure the lines sit on top of each other like you see me doing here. 
and I'm going to grab my tracing wheel and from the edge I'm going to trace to the center of the pattern as you can see then I'm going to open my pattern back up and here when you do yours you're going to see that it's going to give you a triangle like shape this is to accommodate for the shortage you would have when you actually join the pattern so it would be equal now your shoulder will be equal so you just go ahead and use your ruler to draw that line out so just see how i do mine and then draw the triangle out now add 0.5 inch allowance to your shoulder and arm all curve next add one inch allowance to the sides so to your bust your waist and hip measurement now connect all points with your french curve and ruler and also add 0.5 inches to your neckline although i don't do that because i don't think it's necessary so we're done with our front pattern and just go ahead and cut it out and then we move on to the back pattern we're almost done now to the back pattern i'm just going ahead and making sure everywhere is straight so i have straight lines to begin with one of the major differences for the back pattern is that the back pattern is going to have one inch allowance for zip so i'm going to leave one inch in the middle for my zip allowance so next step is i'm going to go ahead using the front pattern um, to mark my bust hip and waistline you don't have to do it this way i just find it easier but you can just use your shoulder to bust measurement your shoulder to waist measurement and your shoulder to hip measurement for this step now draw your bust line your waistline and your hip line just like we did with the first pattern now impute your shoulder measurement just like we did in the front pattern also impute your neck width and your neck depth so the standard three by three inches grab your french curve and draw a round neck next draw your shoulder slant making sure you go down by that one inch same step as we did in the very first front pattern draw a straight line from your shoulder measurement to your bust line Put your bust measurement on your bust line remember to add one inch allowance Put your waist measurement on your waistline as well so at this point we're just going to do the very same thing we did at the front pattern we're going to draw in our dots but the only difference here is that the bust line remember at the front pattern we went down by one and a half inches for the back we are not going to do that at the bust line but for the hip line we still go by two inches we go up by two inches still the same there except the bust line we leave it as it is it's time to draw the back ham all curve 
so what we're going to do is we're going to take the middle point of that line right there we're going to mark it down and the difference between the front and the back pattern here is at the back pattern we don't have to go in because there's no breast at the back so we're just going to mark the midpoint and then we're going to draw a curve like so okay we're almost done i'm excited now we're going to account for the zip bulge so because our back isn't straight we have to account for that on our pattern so from the waistline you're going to go in by 0.75 inches to one inch so you could use 0.75 or one inch mark the point down then grab your french curve and using the curved part connect that point to the existing line like so Now from that curved line, add one inch allowance and use your French curve to draw it in. So now add your 0 0.5 inch allowance to the shoulder and the armhole curve. C'est fini. We are done with our back pattern. So go ahead and cut it out. So we're done. You can use this pattern as a base for any project you're working on. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe, subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment below on what type of tutorial videos you would like to see. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.